Hello everybody and welcome back to the Metal Scrapper channel. So, some of you will probably recognize this pattern. This is a Ducati logo, of course, you can see that. But I made an early video of this and I failed several times. First I tried to uh, do a lost foam cast and I cut this uh, logo out of some uh, styrofoam. And then uh, I decided to make a uh, rigid pattern. So I came up with this, it's uh, all handmade, as you can probably see a little bit. But I gave the end results in aluminium to my father. You can see that video right here. And I still want to have uh, one of my own. In the meanwhile I'm enjoying a nice cup of coffee. So I'll prepare my casting sand and I will mold up this logo and cast this again in aluminium. See you back at the molding table. All right, so we're back at the furnace. The molding process the day before, and it's a beautiful day today. Sun is already uh, down, but it's uh, 7 p.m. And it was a hot day today. It was, uh, well, for me, it is a hot day for what we are used to live in. It's 24 degrees Celsius. So. Got some ingots from the stack. We we'll melt these down and cast a Ducati logo. So sit back and enjoy. Right, so I got the crucible filled with well over 2 kilos of aluminium, that should uh, be enough. Let's start a furnace and melt some aluminium.
All right, guys, so this has been at least cooling down for 10 minutes. We'll get the uh, ingot out, quench that, and after that, I will uh, get out the cast. Ah, it's not a success this time. That's too bad. I tried this one five times before, the fifth time was a success. And now it's a failure again. Well, too bad. However, I will uh, get this out of the sand, quench it, and I'll show the end results. Alright, so here we have the cast. There's a big bubble here. Not sure why that is. Maybe because the metal was coming in here and flowing to the D of the Ducati. I'm not sure. There's also a big hole here. Some bubbles here. Overall, it's not really terrible, but I did it before and it was way better. The sprues are very solid, so there's nothing crazy there. What I did notice so it was what my pour it was not a uh, stable one in one go pour. There was a lot of air. Uh, sucked in so maybe that was the problem yeah so let me know in the comments what should i do with this one should i try to do it again or should i keep this one then see it a little bit what it is all right guys so let me know in the comments what i uh, should do with this one should i keep this one for myself or should i give it another go maybe i'll make some higher spruce so let me know guys for now i will not clean this uh, up any further if you guys say uh, keep it i will clean it up if you guys say no nah, just try it again I will uh, grind this in smaller pieces and just try it again. So let me know in the comments. This was it. Hope you guys like this video. If so, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. So you will, will see a melon video every week. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great week. And I'll see you next week. And let me know in the comments what you guys want. I'll be doing with this. Keep it or do it again. See you next week. Bye bye.